friends, it's Elise here and today I'm going to be sharing with you 12 things that you probably did not know about me. And I'm pretty excited but also a little nervous about some of these so please be um, patient with me and understanding that I'm human too and some of these are easy and funny to look back on and share, some of them not so much. So without further ado, let's get in to the video. <laughs> Number one is that when I was younger, I used to be insanely afraid of spiders. Like to the extent where sometimes I would think spiders were there when they weren't really there. Kind of like creepy and weird, but I don't deal with that anymore. Oh, my back hurts so bad because yesterday I bought this ginormous plant which was like seven feet tall and like a really nice pot for it and it was so heavy. And I thought I was using proper form, but my back hurts. Anyway, the second thing that you probably didn't know about me is that I went to Montessori school until I was in fourth grade. And essentially Montessori school is just like a little private school. And yeah, I liked it quite a bit. It was nice. Third thing you probably did not know about me is that I used to have nine piercings on this ear and I think three or four piercings on this ear. I had that many piercings because I saw this photo on Tumblr when I was younger and it was like small earring, big earring, small earring, big earring and I just thought it looked so cool like all the way up but none of them ended up healing for me. My body just like doesn't like piercings because I also had a nose piercing, nose ring on this side and like nothing healed ever. So I don't even wear earrings anymore because even the bottom hole, like it hurts when I have earrings in for like more than 10 minutes. And I've tried all of the like, the gold, the platinum, titanium, silver, whatever. Number four, so as you guys know, like I used to deal with binge eating years and years ago and my binge foods, trigger warning, my binge foods were peanut butter and jelly. Like I would literally, after everyone went to sleep, have peanut butter jar and the jelly jar and legit just like spoonful of each, spoonful of each, spoonful of each, spoonful of each until I was just like so full. I also used to binge on honey and maple syrup. I would literally just like drink honey and maple syrup, like take the bottle and just like drink it. Those were times when I was struggling quite badly and I'm so grateful to have moved on from that. The fifth thing that you probably did not know about me is that another trigger warning when I was in high school and parts of college, I self-harmed. Obviously that was another hard time in my life. Actually self-harm and binge eating and everything destructive kind of went hand in hand for me. Um, so I'm so grateful that I finally dove into self-growth and self-care and self-love and that is all in the past now. The sixth thing that you most likely do not know about me unless you attended like one of my retreats or know me in person is that when I swear I say like very very strange slash vulgar things like D and like and I don't even know just like weird things come out of my mouth I feel like I can't think of them when I'm trying to think of it but it's like if I like drop something hot or spill something or like Sometimes like just weird things will happen and I just don't know how it happens, but yeah, weird, weird swear combos. The seventh thing is that when I was in college, my nickname was Lil Nugget and, or like Lil Nug for short. And I actually really like that nickname. I actually really enjoy the size that I am and never once have I wanted to be taller or bigger or average size or whatever. Like I've always enjoyed being the smallest person even when people are like, oh my gosh, you're so tiny or oh my gosh, how tall are you? Or like, you're so short in like a negative way. Like I just don't care. I've always really embraced my size. So yeah, I like that nickname, Lil Nugget. And my friend Carly still calls me Lil Nug or Nuggy or whatever. Um, number eight, eight is that when I first started on my health journey, I actually started by following the paleo diet. So I thought that'd be interesting to share. I don't know if I've ever shared that before, possibly in my health journey video on here, but I don't think I did. So yeah, I was paleo for about six months and then like on and off paleo and that's how I got into healthier eating, like not eating processed food anymore was huge and that's something that eating paleo helped me with. So yeah. 
number. Oh, I don't want to say this one. I don't want to say this on camera. Oh, look. An alarm to make me not have to say it on camera. Just kidding. Okay. Um, so I identify with the term gray asexual, which essentially means that. I'm not a very sexual person. Asexual means like somebody doesn't really have sexual feelings um, or sexual attraction. And gray asexual is just basically um, a blanket statement for like so being somewhere in the middle between sexual and asexual. And I just really identify with that and I have for a while and it just, uh, yeah, I don't know why it's hard to talk about. Maybe because I never have on here, but now the cat's out of the bag and that's that. Um, yeah, let me know if you're interested in future videos about that. I like want to share more about it and I want to open up about it because I know that I'm not the only person in the world, so I know that it might be helpful for people to hear me talk about it. The tenth thing that you might not know about me is that my biggest fear is tsunamis. I'm like absolutely terrified and I have dreams where like there's this massive wave just taking everything over and I'm one of that everything. Um, I also saw like a video trailer one time of like a massive wave like that and I think that's where my tsunami dreams like really got kicked up a notch of like visualization of that wave but yeah that's my biggest fear is a tsunami which is actually funny because I absolutely love living right next to the ocean I have lived in two cities or two towns that have had tsunamis actually happen there okay the 11th thing that you probably 100% don't know about me is that my biggest insecurity is that I'm not smart enough because a lot of what I share, I guess basically all of what I share here on this channel and in social media in general and through Raw Alignment is my personal experience and there are a lot of people in the world who really value scientific evidence and I guess like book smarts in general and I just feel so insecure that I don't have enough of that side. I feel like I have more of the creative side, like wisdom through experience side, like life experience but less of that book smart like I would love to know the science behind nutrition and like the body and so many things like so many things in the world but at the same time like I'm just also not one to like I don't know I don't know that's my biggest insecurity is that I'm like too far in the personal experience realm and not far enough in the book smarts realm and yeah cats out of the bag on that one too okay so the 12th thing the very last thing that you probably did not know about me you might have i've commented this like here and there but i haven't like said it my religious beliefs my religion spirituality basically i believe that we all have this universal love and this commonality is that a word love is the basis of life and I guess that's kind of my religious spiritual views is that we are all love and when we think about God, when we pray to God, when we connect to our source, the universe, nature, in my opinion, uh, that's all one. That's all the same energetic frequency, the same entity that we are connecting to yeah it's just it's all love and i think that the base of all religion is love and being a good human being and acting from a place of love i'm not gonna dive too far into that but that is that is it those are the 12 things that you probably didn't know about me so now you know me a little bit better and if you have any questions at all that you that are like things that you would like to know about me let me know in the comment section and i will respond to lots and lots of you because i would love for you to know me better and i would love to hear your thoughts if any of these things resonated with you if you're like oh my god me too let me know in the comment section give this video a thumbs up if you want to know more about me in future videos and like this style of video and that's it i love you so much no, like really, I love you and I care for you and I appreciate you being here with me on my journey 
And that's gonna end this video. I'll see you next time.